Hi, Paragon Mill artists. This is Mrs. Negron. I hope you're all doing well and staying uh, safe and healthy. Um, I decided that for my first virtual class, I would take you and start featuring different artists in our community. I wanted to start off with a really good friend of mine, an amazing artist that we all have a huge gift here in Nashville, um, artist Omari Booker. And I really wanted to come here and start off the class with him because his murals speak um, so many things to us. And as part of an assignment I want to give you all to start thinking about when you see the mural that he's going to share with us today is thinking about colors that you see in your neighborhood, colors that you see in your homes, and thinking about creating a work of art. Uh, with the supplies you have at home using different colors to tell a story but first I want to introduce you to um, the artist our first featured artist in our virtual classroom which brings us outside and this is Omari Booker hi Omari hey how are you yeah thank you for having me it's good to join the class and yeah I'm excited to be out here by, by this mural which means a lot to me and we'll get to chat a little bit about it um, the title of the mural is called You Must Love Me. It's of my sister and I. So my big sister who would be 42 years old today. Today would be, it's her birthday, it's April 28th. She passed away when I was a good bit younger. And so, yeah, it's a special day to come out and talk about some artwork that means a lot to me. And of course, you know, one of the closest people in my life, um, even to this day, even, even spiritually, she still is, is very close. So. Yeah, I'm glad, to, I'm glad to be able to join you and, and share some artwork with you. Hey, Omari, can you, tell us, can you tell us a little bit about the colors that you chose and why? Yeah, the, you know, the, the color scheme is always, just kind of depends on what I think complements each other. So I, I try to find colors that contrast a good bit. And so I thought the, the sky blue would sort of contrast with her hair and skin tone that's a little bit darker. And so that's kind of why I chose the light blue. And the peach, that's just the dress that she had on, yeah. When my mom dressed us up, it was, it was actually kind of funny. That day, we didn't have anywhere to go, so my mom just dressed us up and took us out to the backyard and took some pictures. <laughs> so that's just the dress that she had on. And you kind of see certain colors in the skin, like the sky blue and purple and red. So I always try to encourage artists that whenever they're creating any kind of, whenever they're painting anything, to think about what colors might work that might not actually be there in life. And if you look at the highlight of, a, of skin, you might think it's just brown, but there's some reds and yellows and purples and, and um, even colors you can just kind of come up with on your own. So you can create like the sky blue, that you'll see the blue in her face too. And that works as a good highlight, even though it's not actually blue in someone's face. It's kind of a, um, oh yeah, a cool twist. Okay, I heard you use the word highlight. Um, a lot of our of my students are learning how to put emphasis or more brightness or darkness in yeah. something. Can you tell us about that word, that term highlight, and what it means to you? Sure, yeah. I think, um, yeah, highlight is just, just wherever, I try to think about wherever the light is hitting something. So if, if you're at home, go look at your stove and look at the brightest part of your stove. And you might have kind of a gray part and it, it might all be white, but there's one little sliver that's probably brighter than the rest. And that's wherever the kitchen light is probably hitting the stove. So when I think about highlights, I just try to think about where the light would hit something. If you're looking at my face, the light's gonna probably hit my nose first because that's what's closest. It might hit my eyebrows. It may not hit so much down in my eye sockets because that's darker. So, so yeah, that's just kind of what I try to think about is whatever the light is, where, where the light is hitting first. I 
tell you. I, I, I couldn't tell you what we were thinking back then. I was probably thinking, why's my mom got me out here taking these pictures? <laughs> but um, but yeah, I think they're just a special bond for for our whole lives. You know, it was, it was just the two of us, and so um, I think she's one of those people. You know, there's there's always certain people that you're really comfortable with, and she was kind of that person for me where. You know, I don't really remember thinking anything in particular, but I uh, just felt like I was loved. And so when I titled it, You Must Love Me, that's kind of what I think I was thinking when I was looking at her, like, huh, you must really love me. <laughs> and I think she's probably just sort of looking over me like she always does, so, yeah. Well, I think it's amazing and really special that you were able to take time today to share this with us on her anniversary. And I know that a lot of our Charlotte Pike mm -hmm. and uh, 31st, the connector in uh, North Nashville is that way, and Midtown is this way. But um, I know the wall, this is a wall project. A lot of my students really like to work with other students on one project, and some students like to work by themselves on, on separate projects. But it, this is beautiful because it looks like you were able to work collaboratively with other artists but still focus on your piece. Can you tell my students a little bit about um, why it's important to work with other artists? Yeah, I think a, a big part of it is to get other perspectives. I think artists, you know, artists have a really unique, um, I mean, I consider it a responsibility. All right. so, yeah, so we're talking a little bit about collaboration and this is called Off the Wall Mural Project. I believe there's around 20 artists or so, all the way around 28th Avenue and down Charlotte that collaborated on this project. And yeah, it's just a great opportunity to, to show all of our different perspectives. And I think as artists, you all get to kind of tell the world what, the, what you see. And so I'm from a different background from the young lady next to me, and then she's from a different background from the people on the other side. And, just a good way to sort of share what all of us have experienced and um, and everyone can kind of tell their own unique story. Well, thank you so much, Omari, for yeah. sharing your artwork with us and your story, really, with, with the world and Nashville to the world. And just the beauty about how you can put a relationship like brother and sister on, for all to, to really share. Thank hey, you so much. Thank you. Well, thank you, artists at Paragon Mills. Again, I want you to start thinking for this week about colors like Omari mentioned, just really playing with different colors. Um, he gave a really great example about highlighting and looking at that stove. And I want you to do a, a, something else and really start thinking about colors in your neighborhood. What colors really go with other colors? And if you can create a work of art this week, either on paper or pencil, or like we've been doing with the newsletters, with sticks or rocks, if you want to create a public work of art to represent maybe your bond with a family member, like Omari's story, or a friend, or maybe a teacher. Thank you, everybody. I'll post these, uh, the newsletter this week again on social media and share with your teachers and I look forward to seeing your art. Bye!